Hi, this is Richard Byrne. In this video, we're gonna take a look at five Chromebook basics for new users of Chromebooks. And these are designed to help anyone who has recently gotten a Chromebook from their school, and you wanna get started before the school year on how to set it up. So first things first, one of the things that people often ask about is how do I customize the background? Your school probably put a default background on your screen and you want to change it to be something like what I have here, a picture of me and one of my dogs. So to do that, it's actually fairly simple. You can just right click on the screen. And if you're using just the trackpad, hold down the Alt key and click once. And then you can say set wall. And Google will provide you with a bunch of options that you can pick from. You can choose a different theme if you want to. You can also go to custom, hit the plus symbol, and then choose a file. Now to choose a file, you'll have to have already saved one either on the Chromebook or in your Google Drive. In my case here, I'm using my Google Drive and a folder called Morrison, which is the name of one of my dogs. And I can select a picture and maybe I'll say, I wanna use this one and open. And we can choose to center that picture if I want to, or we can make it center cropped. Again, just like you would do in Windows. So that's my new background. Now, how did I get those files there? That's the question that people always ask about. So let's say I'm on a website and I have saved a picture. So I found this cute puppy picture on the website Photos for Class. And I want to use that in a project or I want to use that on my computer as my background. Let's go ahead and hit the download button. Now that picture, when I say show folder, will appear in my downloads folder on my Chromebook. But if I want to use this picture somewhere else, perhaps in my Google Drive where I can use it then on multiple computers, I'll just click and drag and put it in my drive. And now it's in my drive and I can use it anywhere I want. You can do the same thing with any other file that you have online. You can save it and click and drag it into your Google Drive. Now, speaking of Google Drive, that is going to be the place where you do most of your work on your Chromebook. That's where all your files eventually end up. Uh, so let's make sure we can use this while we're offline. So in my Google Drive at drive.google.com, in the upper right hand corner, I'll choose a little settings menu. And in the settings menu, we'll select sync Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Drawings files to this computer so that you can edit offline. So now we have our files downloaded. We can ac access them offline. Let's take a look at the applications that are on your Chromebook. Now to do that, go down here to the bottom left corner and you have a tool called the launcher. And if you select all apps, that will show all the applications that are available on your Chromebook. Now your school district may have installed some for you and those will appear here as well. And this is where you'll find things like your camera, for example. If you want to find your camera, just do a search for camera, and that will open up the camera on your Chromebook. Now, if you want to install additional applications and your, dis and your district allows it, go into All Apps and select Webdoor. This will launch in your Chrome browser, the Google Chrome Store. And here you can browse through a huge gallery of applications. If you know the name of an application, you can do a search for it up here in the bottom or top left corner. If you wanna refine your search to perhaps applications that will work when you're offline, select runs offline. You might select free. On a Chromebook, 
you can select available for Android. So this will find apps for you that are available both for the Chromebook and for Android and will run on both uh, platforms. So perhaps I want to check out the My Homework Student Planner. And if I want to give it a try, I'll say add to Chrome. I'll say add app. And now it will appear in the list of applications that are on my are available on my Chromebook. And anytime I want to find it again, I just go down here to the bottom left corner. And I can select all apps and I can either search for it or browse through it by scrolling down at the bottom here. So those are five Chromebook basics to help you get started with your new Chromebook for the new school year. For more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com.